Hi. I'm not looking forward to this one, man. I'm just so scared. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching The Conjuring. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a spooky movie, an actual spooky movie, an actual super scary movie, and that is The Conjuring. I know there were some of y'all in my comments down below that said that you thought Halloween was scary. Personally, for me, Halloween wasn't so bad. Scream was more funny and satirical to me than it was scary. I feel like this is actually the first scary movie that we're diving into this nightmare season. I'm really not looking forward to this one. I know there are people out there. Okay, by the way, I'm making an assumption that with this title, this movie is about ghosts because think to conjure I mean, like to conjure a spirit like using a Ouija board or something that's like what I think of when I hear the word conjure so I'm guessing this is going to be a paranormal kind of spooky thing I know there are a lot of people out there that when it's a ghost movie automatically they just aren't scared for me the plausibility of whether or not something could actually happen say you know watching the film alien or watching some sci-fi kind of horror like it doesn't really matter to me whether or not it's real realistic that the horror or the scary stuff could actually occur. It, that doesn't really matter. Uh, I, I'm equally as scared. I mean, Alien messed me up. Do I have any plans to go into space anytime soon? No, it didn't matter. So I'm not looking forward to this at all. Also, I do kind of believe in ghosts. I know there are a lot of people out there that probably think I'm dumb for saying that, but I've just had stuff happen in my house that couldn't be explained with science. So I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like I, I've had things happen that were like weird, but you could maybe explain it with science. And so I shrugged it off. And then I had something happen that like had witnesses involved and all of them are like in science-based fields like medicine or environmental science. And even they were like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain that. So I've, I've seen things happen that have no explanation, like literally no explanation. So I, I kind of believe in ghosts. I, I just do. I don't necessarily think that everything people attribute to spirits is is truly that. I think a lot of stuff can be explained by science, but I do think there are things that that can't. So um, I'm I'm kind of a believer, I guess. And you can call me dumb for that, but uh, until you see the shit that I've seen, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's also the reason that I won't touch a Ouija board. Like I'm not inviting that anywhere near me. I'm not inviting that in my home. I'm actually in the process of planning a murder mystery party for my birthday. By the time you guys are seeing this, my birthday has long passed, but I turned 30 on October 5th. So I wanted to kind of go out with a bang. <laughs> go out with a bang like I'm dying. Wait, wait. Why did I choose those words? Like turning 30 isn't the end of the world. <laughs> what made it sound like it's the end of my life? Like I want to go out with a bang. Like, <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to have a unique type of celebration. So I'm in the process right now of planning a murder mystery themed birthday. I think it's going to be really fun. And Tyler mentioned the idea of like, ooh, what if you like bring in a Ouija board and people can only communicate to you because I'm playing the murder victim, right? So what if they can only communicate to you through the Ouija board? And I was like, even as a joke, I'm not doing that. Like, yes, that would be a really funny idea. I'm not purchasing a Ouija board and I will not invite those shenanigans into my home. I, I don't... I don't want to do that. So all of this is to say that I do get scared by ghost stories. I do get scared of paranormal stuff. I mean, Hereditary is kind of like a ghost story. And that movie, we we saw that movie together here on my channel and that, that messed me up. So not looking forward to this. It does have decent reviews. So hopefully it's well made. I mean, that's, oh, that's really all I can hope for. And I just got goosebumps. <laughs> like literally just now because I have nothing else to say for this intro and I'm realizing that I have to press play on the movie now and I'm not excited. So if you are watching this video, maybe consider giving this one a thumbs up early, please. I'm really facing my fears here with this one. It's terrifying. I'm not looking forward to this. So please just maybe consider giving this an early thumbs up to just, I would really appreciate it. All right, without any further ado, I think it's time 
to uh, get on into it. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into The Conjuring. Oh no, the microphone drooped again. Okay, well, let's just... Guys, no! Did y'all just see that happen? My YouTube plaque fell. That's not a good sign. Y'all, that, the, I'm actually so scared now to watch this, holy Y'all, do I have to do this? <laughs> I don't wanna do this now. When you hear it, you're gonna think we're insane. Try us, please, from the start. Ah! Oh no, was it about a doll? She was sitting in the hallway but we had left her in the spare room. Crayons. She drew all over the spare room. Y'all, this is the beginning. I can't do this. Oh, that's when they tried to get rid of it, huh? You can't just throw it away. That's not gonna work. She's knocking! No! I'd move. I'd straight up move. I'd be moving, but the doll would probably find me. It's gonna be a jump scare. Oh my God! Ah! No, it's too quiet. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> She's already in tide? How? <sighs> my shoulder. I'm gonna give myself a headache because my shoulders are already so tense. Whatever was oppressing that apartment was no longer with him. What? It's like a paranormal class? Where's the doll now? Yeah. Someplace safe. Uh-uh. Not true. Since the 60s, Ed and Lorraine Warren have been known as the world's most Renowned paranormal investigators, Lorraine is a gifted clairvoyant, while Ed is the only non-ordained demonologist recognized by the Catholic Church. Out of the thousands of cases throughout their controversial careers, there is one case that is so malevolent they've kept it locked away until now, based on the true story. No f***ing way. Ed and Lorraine Warren is such a great name for like a couple in a horror movie. Don't tell me some like unassuming, innocent family is gonna move into a house where the doll happens to be. Come on, Sadie. The dog is like, no. Oh. Hey, come on, girl. Dude, always trust the dog. Always trust the dog. The dog is like, no, don't go in there, you stupid people. Okay, clap. Uh-oh. You already know that demon's gonna clap. <laughs> well, my fault. Oh, oh my god. Christine did No, I didn't. Oh god. What's that about? Nancy, can you go get me the matches, please? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna use matches as a form of light. We don't have a flashlight. I think we have a cellar or something. Mm-hmm, or like a murder room, <laughs> torture room, when the last family that lived here, the child was bad or something. Or maybe they boarded it up for a reason, yeah? Huh. Is that a piano? So we're gonna hear that being played at some point, huh? It's pretty weird, him just using matches. Like, they're gonna go out, and then he's not gonna be able to see. Ah, son of a... It's gonna be a jump scare. Something dumb is gonna happen. No. Don't leave them there! Don't leave the matches there. That's a dumb idea, Raj. There's so many nervous seeds they're planting that are freaking me out. This clock stopped at 307 and so did the one in the hallway. That's weird. 307, what? Oh, something's going on with 307. Sadie! Sadie, oh no, guys. Don't tell me the dog is dead. Oh no. I, I thought the dog would live more than a day. Are you kidding me? Already? The horror's begun? Mm-hmm. It's that room. Yup. Oh, it's that door. No. Thank you. No, thank you. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know why doing this, like, helps <laughs> me deal with this. Ah, oh, God, even the shadow is freaky. Nothing's even happened. I hate this. It's just we haven't had a jump scare yet, really. Ah! Dad? Andrea, what are you doing out of bed? It's Cindy. She's in my room. She's sleepwalking again. God, even she scared me. This is so bad. I'm already scared. I've never seen her do this before. Oh, she's head banging. That's great. I used to be a sleepwalker, and my mom would straight up wake me up, and nothing bad ever happened to me. My mom would be like, Natalie! <laughs> <laughs> and I would just wake up and I'd be really groggy and pissed and then I'd go back to bed. <laughs> That's not good. Oh She's got a bruise on her back. Wait, you got another bruise here. The demon really doesn't like her, huh? Dead bird? Fun. Poor, poor bird. Everything's dying. Oh my god. It's a fun little omen. I miss Sadie a lot. She was my best friend. 
You're my friend, right? Yeah, let's play. Who are you talking to? Rory. <sighs> Rory? Uh, dude, the direction of this is, is genius, but I hate it. You see him in the mirror standing behind you. Oh, that's fun. That's so fun. She's going to see him and she's not going to like it. Boom, mommy! <sighs> it's not very nice, April! I was going to say, like, the direction of this is so genius because, like, something as simple as the way they shoot the mom opening the door where you don't know what the door is opening from. It just, it looks like it could be a ghost or the wind, but it's actually the mom doing it. Like, little shots like that or, like, his daughter standing on the stairs, like, it was unexpected. So there's all these little things that are so scary, even though it's nothing ominous. So it's really well done, um, unfortunately. Second clap. I bet... It's not April clapping. April. Time to go to Narnia. Give me the third clap. Ah! There's hands in there. Ha ha, you took your blindfold off. I win. You weren't even warm, Mom. I was in Christine and Nancy's room. <sighs> What's the route? It's uh, Florida. It's a week turnaround. I start tomorrow. So that's fun. Dad's going to be gone for a week. Great. Man, the dad honestly has the best setup in this household. He can just leave for a week. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, don't look. Don't look. That's the worst option. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Please, please, please. I can't. I can't. I reject it. Rejecting. She gonna look under the bed? Oh my god. No, no, no! 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 No, no, no. I can't even look. I can't even look. I can't even look. I can't even look. I can't even. No! No! Stop it! I can't look. Guys, I can't look. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Do you see it? Oh god, I don't wanna see it. Heavy breathing. Oh my god, is she gonna get attacked? Okay, I can put the other headphone back in now. It said that it wants my family dead. Oh god, dad cannot leave. That's This is not good. Dad, you really should not take the job. <laughs> I know you need to like pay bills and stuff, but you really shouldn't take the job. Why is it always a child giggling? Girls, it's way past your bedtime. It's not your girls. It's not your kids. Ugh, just nothing but the ticking sound of the clock. That's awful. I don't want to go downstairs. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. This is horrible. Um, I would never sleep in this house again, ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're all asleep. Isn't that weird? <laughs> okay, time to call Ed and Lorraine right now. I'd rather just watch Coda stretch <laughs> than like watch this movie, honestly. I don't really want to be this close to you when you scream. It's a lot. I need a little comfort right now, buddy. Uh uh. I. Oh my god. Clap. It's clapping. It's clapping. It's clapping. It's clapping. <laughs> Sorry, really. I'm sorry. It's playing the piano. It's playing the piano. I knew it was gonna play the piano. No. No. Why do we why do we have to go into the dark hole? Don't go down there, ma'am. Please don't go down there. Don't go down there. Who's ever down there? I'm gonna lock you in now! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh god. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that. I knew it. I knew it. It locked you in, huh? That's awful. That's awful. All right, I'm gonna put you down, Ridley. Cause, oh, f Cause I'm gonna scream in your ear, baby. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. It's laughing at her. Oh, the matches were there. No, this is worse. This is actually worse. I liked it when the light was on. I liked it when the light was on. I don't like it when there's just 
the match. Wanna play hide and clap? Coda just left. He just straight up left. He just left the room. He was like, enough of this. Get yourself under control. I can't handle the screaming. Can we just call Ed and Lorraine? Again. Again, Cindy with the head. Oh my God. And mom is trapped and dad's not here. And I'm just, this is bad. Whoever was in charge of the mirror placement on set is a genius. Cause like they're just placed in the most unsettling areas of the room where like you can see a little bit and it's like really unsettling and eerie and makes you think like something is gonna be in the mirror. I knew that was gonna start thumping. I knew it. Oh babe, no, don't do it. Just don't even open it. Have Just don't even open it. That's what it wants, okay? I wonder if that little girl is gonna be spared. April? <gasps> ah! Or not April, whatever her name. Yeah, April, that's her name. Cindy is terrifying. <gasps> I didn't think we were gonna see anything like that. Somebody goddamn it, tell me what's going on here! Um, you bought a really haunted house, Dad. That's what's going on here. Okay, so we're gonna call Ed next, right? We're not gonna f around. There's this awful smell like rotting meat. Uh-huh, like death. Great. Well, our rancid smells could indicate some type of demonic activity. Oh, it's definitely demonic. I almost said officer, but I meant professor. It's definitely demonic professor. You think that the family, I mean, I know that they're invested in the house financially at this point, but at this point I'd be doing everything I could to sell it. Do you mind if I try to see Rory? I wonder if she's going to see him. I bet she'll see Rory. I bet Rory will show himself to her. Oh my God. That little spiral is terrifying. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. It's totally going to be there. Uh-uh. No. There he is. Hi, Rory. He's gone. She's seeing the she's seeing the dead body hanging above him. Oh my God. Oh no. She can't do this job anymore. It's affecting her too much, bro. She shouldn't be doing this anymore. That's the original farmhouse. It was built in 1863 by a man named Judson Sherman, who was married to a woman named Beth Sheba. And when the baby was seven days old, Judson caught her sacrificing it in front of the fireplace. She ran out to that tree by the dock, climbed up, proclaimed her love to Satan, cursed anyone who tried to take her land, and hung herself. Oh, that's why. Because she cursed anybody who tried to move there. Great, that's fun. Her last name's Walker. She lived there in the 30s. There's Rory. Rory, who mysteriously disappeared in the woods. Then she killed herself in the cellar. That's the Oh, so Rory was the kid of the next people that live there. So Rory's probably like trying to warn April. <laughs> probably a nice boy. I'm sitting here with Karen and the parent and the family. It started playing on its own. Oh, so did the thing follow them home? It possessed their... <laughs> their clocks are stopping now. You're kidding me. What is it with 307? Is that the time she hung herself? Holy sh so now, oh my God, it's not just them. Everyone's getting possessed. This woman, she like, she proclaimed her love for Satan. It's basically Satan that's haunting everybody now. Like, how do you defeat Satan? Oh, fun. See, it just reveals to us what the naked eye can't see. Pretty far out, isn't it? Yeah, it's groovy. Groovy. <laughs> Flirting with blacklight technology. I can show you something else that'll show up under the blacklight. They have such a beautiful family, don't they? Yeah, that little one, though. April. Mm -hmm. So you bring me pancakes? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Lorraine is about to see something ominous between the sheets here outside. Like some something scary. She's doing their laundry, like my God. Like they're essentially, they've just moved in. <laughs> Oh, it's getting gloomy. Holy shit, that is a fast moving storm. I knew it. Oh, she's sleeping upstairs. Oh no. Ew. Oh no, has she just been possessed? Is it happening? Did she just get possessed? She couldn't get up there fast enough. Caroline! Are you okay? Nope. I'm fine. You sick? 
I woke up just feeling a little nauseous, that's all. I thought I saw... I hear Roger and the girls. No, she just got possessed. Oh my God, she just got possessed. She just got straight up possessed. Poor Carolyn. Poor Carolyn, oh no! Something spooky's gonna happen to the, to the cop. Something's going on with the wind chimes. Oh, I hate this. I hate looking out windows <laughs> in scary movies. I hate it. Stop looking out the window. Stop looking out windows. Is the chair gonna rock? The chair's rocking. No, no, I refuse. Look what she made me do. Look what she made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. You're not telling anyone? God damn it, dude. You have no survival instincts. <gasps> Look what she made me do. Hey. There's laundry hanging up here. Oh, no, he's getting haunted and he's not even telling anybody. Ed. Look what she made me do! Holy f Oh sh we're all seeing stuff now. There's so many entities here. Holy f Poor Carolyn is just gonna become another- Cindy. Oh, that's Cindy. Oh, it's Cindy sleepwalking. Oh. Cindy! Cindy! Oh, that's terrifying. The camera flash just keep going off. That's kind of cool. What the f where did she go? Oh my god. She's just sleeping in there. Holy f Poor Cindy, being haunted in her dreams. That's where Rory hides when he's afraid. Uh-huh. Yep, now she's gotta go in here. Great. So many fun little hidden compartments in this house. It's great. Hun? That's where the music box should go. Interesting. There's a rope! No, no, don't, no, 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 no. Is there a body attached to the rope? It's a noose. Oh my God, there's a dead body behind her. Oh no, there's not, it was, oh, no, there's not. It was her husband's head, but she, but that, wow, I knew something was gonna happen, but I didn't think that was gonna happen. Holy f is she okay? Someone's crying. Oh, why Why is that your instinct? To play it. She, is she there? She's gonna be in front of her now though. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. This is awful, this is, it's not over, it's not over and I just want it to be over. Please, I just wanna just, I just wanna. Again, uh, ma'am, we get it. You hung yourself in the name of Satan. Nobody cares. Uh. Man, this one's really getting to her too. Oh God, no, she's getting hung now. Holy f She's in the cellar. No, she did I got you. Her necklace, it took her necklace of her daughter. She visits Carolyn every night. That's what the bruise marks are. She's feeding off of her. Yep. She's possessed Carolyn, yeah, it's too late. And also, like, Lorraine, you might be next. She doesn't like moms very much. Uh, Nancy? Oh my god, poor Nancy. Nancy! Is cutting the hair gonna help? Did you get that? Dude, I'm like about to cry. Did you get that? <laughs> it's unfortunate, he has to film everything. Listen, when we get the exorcist, I'll be back, but Lorraine, I... Yeah, I understand, but... Carolyn's already possessed though, y'all. Oh, Who's saying mommy? Someone just said mommy to her? Oh my God, Lorraine's next. This thing really loves to possess moms, huh? And her necklace is gone. Mommy. Is she seeing her daughter now? That would be awful. Oh my God, is someone gonna try to pull her in the lake? Dude, I just can't, I can't. It's her daughter. I had a vision of Judy in the water. I know it was some kind of warning. It, it, it is, it absolutely was. You are right. This house is like <laughs> a particular type of awful. It's just horrible. Oh my God. Yep, there's mom, possessed as f There she is. Oh 
no. Oh, no, it's Judy. Oh, no, she's next. Oh, no, the necklace. Oh, Judy. Oh, my God, this thing is awful. It's haunting everybody. It's actually kind of shocking how these parents have this room filled with objects that are all like possessed by these crazy demons and evil things just in the same house as their daughter. And now I feel like this demon creature is going to like lead the daughter into that room. Why do I feel like the attic door is going to open too? Holy shit. This, this angle on a shot is horrifying. Oh girl, don't go downstairs. Oh, the room's open. Don't go in there. No. Oh no, I knew it. Uh, Ma'am, close the door, please. Is the doll gone? Don't tell me the doll's gone. Why? No! Nana? No! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they've, oh, oh, that's great. No. So that thing likes the doll too, huh? Nana! 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 <laughs> You're too late. You're too late. You're too late. Oh my god, it tried to kill her. It just it just tried to kill her, but it waited. It waited till the last second so they could see what a threat it was. Holy f So the only connection was like, there was no real connection between the doll and this evil woman spell. <gasps> that doesn't even make sense. What? She's still in the case. That doesn't even make sense. Dude, I feel like having a job like this is just irresponsible if you want to have a kid. Like, you get to pick. You don't get to be both. She's in the car and turned away. I don't know what happened. Daddy, she's multi she didn't say what was going on. She just left. Huh? Mom? Where? I don't know where she was going. She went back to the house. Where are we going, Mom? Oh, no. She took... Oh, no. She took two of the daughters. Oh, no. Is she going to kill one of her kids? You think I'm going to let you walk into this alone? I can't lose you. You won't. Oh, you might. I don't know, she could die. It's a very real possibility, ma'am. She really hates moms, okay? She has mommy issues, this woman. Roger! Get out of the way! Wow. All right. Oh, I like you, dude. Oh, f Carolyn, Ed! Why is Ed screaming? What's, oh, we're just screaming to Ed. Oh my God, oh my God, Jesus Christ. I feel so bad for these baby girls because they're gonna have like this view of their mother that's just like, my mom tried to kill me. It's killing her, it's killing her. She won't let her leave the house. What, what do you mean? If we take Look at her. her. Which will kill her. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, that looked kind of goofy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I like, I'm laughing, I also wanna cry. I like feel so bad for this woman. Jesus Christ, she just bit him. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna try to lead the exorcism and then it's gonna like hurt Lorraine and- Then you need to leave. What are you talking about? I have to do it, the exorcism. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's having a moment here. You can do it. But you gotta get out of here. I'm not leaving Lorraine! I'm not doing this with you in here! My God, I think that's a really reasonable demand. God brought us together for a reason? No, no, uh-uh. I would not do it with my wife here. I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not risking you dying. <laughs> Ooh. The fact that we have a sheet over her still is crazy. Like I'm scared to remove the sheet and see what she looks like, you know? <laughs> oh, this is not going well. I think this was a mistake to do this uh, without a priest. Invisibly and weekly the whole secular liberator. Uh-uh, it's not over yet. It's a fake out. She doing a fake out. It's a fake out, y'all. It's a fake out. Uh oh. Oh, that's that's never good. That's never good. You never want to see levitation. Nostra Jesu. Keep to speak in Latin. Put her down. It's 
really, not, honestly, it's really nice of the demon to put her down, not straight down on her head. I thought that was what was going to happen. And now you're all going to die. No. His gun! Holy <laughs> This thing is powerful! Right there! No. No, 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 what the f This is your daughter! Yeah! Yeah! You can't give in! Oh, what the f is happening? I can't decide whether this is scary or funny. That, that jump cut of her looking awful was so jarring. Remember what you showed me. She's got powers like 11 now. She can show her visions. You said they meant the world to you. Oh, he gave her some crazy colored contacts. Oh God, I hope April doesn't die. I don't want April to die. She's too cute. Maybe just Carolyn will die. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it didn't help. Look at her eyes. They're still crazy. They're still crazy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's coming out of her. Is it, did it work? I don't know. I feel like it was a fake out again. I just feel like this woman is, no, oh, maybe it is. She's back. Oh my God. I don't know. That just, it's, she still looks evil. <laughs> Holy f I like didn't believe it. She still looked so scary. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I love you so much. Dude, I can't believe April's even like letting her hug her. I'd be like, I'm too scared of you right now, mom. I need some space. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I cop with this like the smile, but he's like, yeah, I lost a little bit of my cheek, but I'm fine. <laughs> It's so funny because the I feel like the movie started out so scary, but like it almost got once like there was no like suspense of like not knowing where the ghost was going to be or if we were going to see anything like once it became full blown like paranormal activity all the time, it got less scary and more silly to me, which I was relieved by honestly. <laughs> Something bad's got to happen. I can't believe there's no way you don't get a happy ending with a movie like this. Maybe it is going to be the end. Diabolical forces are formidable. These forces are eternal and they exist today. The fairy tale is true. The devil exists. God exists. And for us, our people, our destiny hinges upon which one we elect to follow. Ed Warren. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. No, thank you. Is the clown gonna pop up or we're gonna see? No. Mm-mm. No, stop. Like, I'm done. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. So this, this movie was interesting because I feel like the first half of it was really, really, really scary. And then it kind of got less scary as it went on because the suspense element was gone. I think the beginning of the film, there's so much suspense. Some of the shots were laid out so, in such a genius manner that it made everything feel really unsettling. You didn't know what was going to emerge in a mirror or behind a door or what certain things meant. Like a lot of times like a door would creak open, but there'd be a logical explanation for it or something creepy would happen, but then it would be revealed that it was just like a parent moving something. And little things like that make everything feel so unnerving and creepy and at least put me on edge. And I, it was really genius in the way that they did that. A lot of the angles and shots and lighting was just really well done. The things oddly that felt the least scary were when we would finally see the demonic presence. Like when we first saw her above the fireplace, it was almost like the least scary thing I had seen at that point because there's more fear in the unknown and what you can't see and what is uncertain than there is in like, having everything revealed to you. That's why, you know, Jaws is so scary or Alien is so scary. Like you don't see the creature for such a long time. Things like that are a lot more suspenseful and terrifying. And I feel like when things were really small in frame, like there was stuff really far away that you couldn't see clearly or like that one scene with one of the daughters, I, f I forget her name, Christine, I think. One of the daughters was seeing so much in the room and no one else could see it. Like that was horrifying to me because it's like, what can she see? And is that gonna be revealed to us? I don't wanna see it. Oh my God, what's happening? I don't know what's happening and that's terrifying. So I feel like the first half of this movie, maybe even the first two thirds was really terrifying because of that. And then the last like third, the whole climax wasn't as bad just because we could see so much of what was happening and there was no real reprieve and there wasn't a lot of silence. It was like constant action and constant craziness happening. 
Um, and it almost made certain jump scares more funny because they were so over the top. But I kind of welcomed that in the end because I was so stressed the whole time watching the movie that for the ending to feel not as bad was <laughs> like a welcome reprieve for me. I actually wasn't really expecting this movie to have a happy ending. I was kind of surprised that the family got out relatively unscathed and didn't lose anybody. I, I thought that for sure one of the daughters was gonna die or something was gonna happen. I just didn't think it was gonna have a happy ending or I thought, okay, well maybe this family will be okay, but Ed and Lorraine will come home and their daughter won't be okay. Like I just thought something horrible had to happen. Pleasantly surprised by the fact that it was um, a happy ending, all things considered. Sound design was great. I love all of the little, I mean, I hated them, but I loved all of the little seeds that were planted early, like mini Chekhov's guns. Like, oh, there's a piano. We know we're gonna hear that. Oh, they're playing this hide and seek game, but it's a version of the game where there's clapping involved and one person's blindfolded. So that's really scary. And there's all these little seeds of things being planted really early on that you know are gonna come back around in like a horrifying way. Same thing with like the clocks and uh, just the sound design elements of like how silent things could be, but there'd be a ticking of a clock going on somewhere. It was so unsettling and awful. Some of the ways that Lorraine's clairvoyance was revealed like, you could tell she was seeing something, but you wouldn't know what she was seeing for a long time. And sometimes that would be revealed to you and other times it wouldn't be. Like stuff like that was particularly horrifying. And that's why I think the first like two thirds of this movie was just masterfully done, incredibly scary. The last third, maybe a little bit sillier, just seeing like, I think seeing something as dramatic as Carolyn getting dragged away back into the cellar. Like I know it's supposed to be awful and terrifying, but something about it was just funny because it was so crazy. There was a part of me that was like laughing, but there was also a part of me that wanted to cry because I just like felt so bad for this family. So I was like constantly between laughter and tears, I feel like at the end and like occasional screaming, but it really was a roller coaster of emotions at the end of the movie. Um, definitely a really interesting one. And I'm pretty sure there's a movie called Annabelle. I'm pretty sure. So I would guess that it's about that doll. I don't know if the movie Annabelle came before this or after, let me look. Let me look into that. Oh, it came right after 2014. And then there were like two more movies about Annabelle. I make no promises to watch that. <laughs> this also reminds me that I've never seen Chucky. I haven't watched a lot of those movies where like dolls are the villain. I don't know if I want to. Fun fact, I uh, sometimes would sleep over at my grandpa's house as a kid. And one of the rooms in my grandpa's house that my aunt grew up in would like had tons of dolls in it, like tons of creepy looking dolls. So. <laughs> I've spent a few nights in rooms like that and uh, didn't sleep very well. <laughs> anyway, this was a, a fun one. Um, definitely spooky, but I feel like not so bad that I'm gonna be scared tonight, hopefully. <laughs> I think all in all, I'll survive. But yeah, it was definitely scary. I just think with how fantastical everything was at the end of the film and how wild everything was and the crazy dramatic things that were happening, it actually pulled me out of the immersion a little bit. If it had been more subtle, I might've stayed more on edge and more terrified the entire time. That's kind of why I feel like the original Exorcist is so crazy. Like there are things that are happening that are fantastical, but because so many of the effects, like it's practical effects as opposed to visual effects, it feels real still. Um, so it was unsettling and awful all the way through the end. So in a way I'm grateful because I feel like I'll be able to sleep tonight. Yay. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more scary stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. I have a lot of scary movies still on my list because I don't like watching them. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or any other suggestions you might want me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden and stay spooky. Bye.